little pawn. Are you ready to answer the oldest of age-old questions? What came first, the chicken or the egg? Listen here, you moron. Anyone can answer this question. Then why are you asking it? Wow, you're lucky I'm a stone statue or I'd be doing a offended movements right now. I hope not. I'd hate to see your offended <laughs> movements. The question! Are truly stone press best? No. Oh. You wanted the correct answer, right? But that's all I have. What if I crack them open? Would that help? It is at this point that we realize the continuation of this of this spot of spot of improv <laughs> might derail into what some might consider improper. So you can all just imagine with your imaginations where it went from here. And no matter what you think, you're correct. Unless it's that, you dirty son of a bitch. And that's what gets my juices flowing. Yes, quite. <laughs> Indeed, excellent. Ooh. Whoopa, whoopa. Whoopa. Yes, whoopa. So our mystic spear, spear had now been uh, been doing a bit of exploring, but we're back via the aid of Port Crystal. Hello, Port Crystal. So, it is time. Why is the music just fucking swelling? <laughs> Her red glowing eyes and shadowy face just poking over. Fear only the cost of your hesitation. Also, the fact that when it talks, it's like right in your ear, even when it's that far They've, away. They have done, like, it's it's incredible. It's so unnerving, but powerful. Yeah. All right, let's do this thing. She does sound like it's, a like a lifelong smoker, though. It's you, me, in a battle of brains with the legendary Sphinx. Oh, and, oh okay. I thought it was just supposed to be like a one-on-one. -on -one. We can do this, right? We're not we're not stupid. Maybe the two of us together are not stupid. All right. I guess we'll take it from the top. <sighs> Give me the riddle of eyes. Our allies. Yet off do they betray eyes to lies. Fuck me. <laughs> you know you got Why does this have to have so many rhyming words? I do like it. For eyes to lies, so I advise. I didn't I didn't realize the Sphinx could drop mad fire beats. I didn't venture through yonder door oh and retrieve that okay so oh so they're not they're not gonna just be a question and answer venture through yonder door and retrieve that of which is great it's just it's a it's a fucking uh what's it called the, the holy chalice valley it's a holy it's a it's a holy chalice thing it's not how the one that looks the shiniest. It's a, it's the specialist one. How do we know what counts as greatest value? Maybe we just have to work it out. I guess. I mean, we'll have a look at them and see see what we got. Sphinx, why do you just have a goblin? I hope it wasn't that urn. I hope it wasn't this 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 hobgoblin. I feel like if you fall here, there's something big down there based on what I'm hearing. It does kind of feel like that, doesn't it? Ah, oh, confirmation. Ah, it's just a little ogre down there. Ah, it's just a little ogre. He's a little guy. It's a little could... ogre, yeah, it's a little ogre. What, what if he has what's of the most? There's a jar of poison there. You can drop it on the ogre. <laughs> there's a jar of poison there. That's valuable. Oh my god, this guy looks like a bloody warlord. Damn it, stamina. I just like that he has a horn and a shield. That's an excellent, like, weapon. Well, that's all he needs. He can yeah. defend himself and he can annoy he, enemies with I love loud when you run out of stamina and, like, <laughs> yeah, he still just have to be you, exhausted. you just sort of die. <laughs> like, they just slowly kill you. It's like. Guys, anyone, anyone gonna do anything at any point to like, help you think me. you'd be able to regain your stamina at some point in the chain of just being beat the shit out of? Okay. Oh, Mystic Four. Ooh. Maybe? I mean, it's a fancy chest. Oh, it's probably the rotten apple. Okay, look, we have to, we have to get into context here. Look. The Sphinx is a notorious yeah. trickster. And the answer, it's a real, it's not going to be obvious or what we think it is, all right? We can't... Which is why I think it, what it wants is for you not to think that it's a rotten apple, but it is the rotten apple, which is what... Or it could be that hidden Hang on, chest. hang on, hang on, right above the door when you walk in. Could be. And you wouldn't look behind you, would you? I mean, you might. Is that valuable? A file with remarkable interior. It boasts the unnerving ability to swallow people up, allowing them to be carried. <laughs> oh my god, what? Possible genie experience. It boasts the unnerving ability to, to swallow, swallow people, people up. up, allowing them to be carried. How do you use that, though? I don't know. But I mean, can you can you use it on this? That has things? to be pretty valuable, right? Like that's we've never seen. Can one. you can you use that to bring a person out of here and give it to this? Oh my god, yes, stuff of it. No, because they said it was in here. 
So that, I assume, must be accurate. Yeah, so it might be a person in here that you then put in the bottle. Oh, what if you put the ogre in the bottle? Put the ogre in the bottle! Do we do we even go down to the ogre land? I don't know. I mean, it does feel like it's a trap, but it might be a trap with value. I just... Like, what if there's what if the most valuable item in this place is down there, guarded by the ogre? I, I mean, we should exhaust all possibilities, but so far between a rotten apple and a magical item that can trap any human in, I'm going to side with the trapping item being the most Well, valuable. I agree with you. I still think logically it's probably the rotten apple is what she's going to say. Yeah, but it, it says eyes tell... Because a rotten apple we can, can like go into the into the soil and, and you know... But what is the whole the eyes apples? tell lies? The eyes tell lies. Maybe, maybe the apple isn't truly rotten. The apple isn't truly rotten. Or maybe we, we're just dumb. Oh, maybe we're just dumb. You know, when you put it like I mean, that, I think the eyes tell lies is supposed to be, it's not your first thought. Okay, okay, can you put the ogre in the bottle? That's the real question. Can you put the ogre in a bottle? <laughs> I think it's I brought you some ogre juice. I just think that would be a very interesting thing to deliver. All right, I mean, I'll be honest. Unless we have really missed something or immediately put on our dunce cap, how could it be anything other than the unique person bottle as the most valuable thing in here? It, it just feels, it, it almost feels too obvious. Am I, tri am I tricking myself here? Am I, am I pushing But maybe it too that far? is the riddle? Maybe it is like the obvious. But is it obvious? I mean, maybe. Oh no, maybe the eyes tell lies because the, the point is you're just being tested on if you notice the chest above the door that you've got no reason to look at when you walk in. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Look at the description of the rotten apple. Is it maybe a special rotten apple? <laughs> look at the description. No, it's I'm just, just, added, I'm just added a second apple to our rotten apple collection. Okay, okay. I just, uh, I thought that was worth a check. I think you're right, but like, I'm just, I just, I'm very wary of this. Oh <laughs> god, that actually is the choice. Yeah. It can't be. It is some bullshit if it's not the person sealing item. But I just feel like it might not be because it is a sphinx. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! Jesus. Oh my god! I hate that! So indescribably much. Oh, why is the music doing that? Oh, are you turning your head? Oh, hi. Okay. I mean, I feel like we just gave her the means to imprison. I hate that so much. That is spine tingling. What like, is you, that? Oh. Are you not concerned about that? I think if the Sphinx one was dead, we could probably. It would probably have happened already. Well, there's a big difference between dead and bottle. No greater worth can be found in that in simplicity. It's a person swallowing bottle. That is simply. That is simply valuable. Can we just, like, put the queen in a bottle? Can we put Deezer in a bottle? Yay, a wake stone! I think that'd be funny to just carry her around in a bottle. I guess a riddle number of dots? Here, the riddle of madness. They are bound fast as night is today. Bring forth your most beloved. Bring forth your most beloved. Pawn, 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 pawn! I don't like any of the pawns. Why are they all stood in a nice little row like, choose me! Me, 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 me! Surely it's gotta be like the NPC you have the most affinity with? Who do we have max affinity with? Is it Merton? Is it Sorcery? Is it probably all... is him, but this feels too specific right now. Like, I, I feel like we're being too too on the nose with it. It is a riddle. Yeah, that's true. It, love is akin to madness, so that has, that has to be a thing. Like, it can't just be a, a, a love thing. I just, I can't imagine it would have you going out into the world and having to physically bring someone all the way here? Well, we have a bottle for human carrying. Oh, you think that's literally what it's for? I mean, it could be. Or that could also just be to mislead you, because again, that just, it just feels too obvious to me. I bet no one with, no matter how much the NPC likes us, I, I, is, is going to better that that's bond. True. Like, my first guess was just main bond. Yeah, okay. I mean, I feel like we should probably hear the, the riddle again just to make sure we're not missing anything. Well, the last time we heard the sec the, the eyes riddle again, it just was like, "Do it, answer." So, what if it just if it just commits? Now, be a be a good pawn, Connor. And uh, what happens if you put multiple people on? Does that? <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess. You know, I just love everyone. I'm gonna I'm gonna put every I'm gonna put all of them. Oh I'm gonna put all of them on the platform. Oh god! I don't even care if it's wrong. I want to know what she says when she's asked us to bring our beloved and then we've just put three separate people on the offering. You should have just brought yourself. Oh, it's fine. We don't need every chest. <laughs> Unless getting one wrong fails all of them. Vanity. Is this your most beloved you bring before me? Yes. yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't like this. It's, which one is she looking? Why, why is it then also yes or no? Oh, I don't Ooh. like it. I don't like it at all. Well, that's the face she made last. Okay, yeah, there we go. Good. Yeah, main pawn. No, 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 she's deciding. She's deciding. 
Oh my She's god! Been very I good. genuinely yeah. get like hot. I can't. I can't. Do, I can't. Well, she said it. very good. Why'd she go from very good to not have bad? It feels like she changed her mind a little bit. Come on, then when you bring walk, there's actually a line for it. Uh, so I guess maybe we could have gone and rounded up every yeah. NPC we have high like like. I mean, I guess, but how do you even gather the ones that aren't your pawns? That's a really good point. <laughs> you just you just like get the archer meister to get you like a request to go somewhere, and you bring him with you and put him on the platform, and he's just like, um, arisen. What are you doing? Oh. That's a solid reward. There we go. It's been a wake stone. That's valid. I mean, I'm glad we, glad we got that one right. <laughs> Come to test your wits. I have Sphinxy. Yes. Wisdom me. Wisdom. Wisdom. The reverse is far from true. I'm not knows the parent. Such is the parent's due. Bring to you your parent. It's the dragon. Who would be the Sphinx's parent? I don't know if it's that literal. It's more like the the analogy they were making of the the parent knows the child, but the child not the parent. So what knows the Sphinx, but the Sphinx does not know? Oh yeah. No, you're not. You're not wrong. Have we met anyone with like Sphinx in their name or like knowledge of the Sphinx, the Oracle? <laughs> like the Ghost Oracle. I mean, maybe. Maybe it's less literal than what is the parent. Like what? What created? What could have created the Sphinx? Oh, I know what created the Sphinx. Capcom. Of course, we give them Capcom. No, but maybe it's a meta thing like that. But then how do we answer that? Yeah, I don't know how we put Capcom in front <laughs> then of How would it be Capcom? <laughs> I really thought I had a fucking breakthrough there. <laughs> there's, a really, there's just a moment there. I'm just like, what are you saying? Actually, if we run with that line of thinking, give it a pawn made by Capcom, and then that represents uh, Capcom, and then that's the sphinx's parent right it feels so unbelievably specific am i overthinking that, it am i am i over am i over complicating it? it feels like it's way too specific well what else would it be we've not seen or done anything i don't know the answer but that just seems crazy i am convinced oh i'm not convinced i think this is strenuous and, you. and 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 paper thin as fuck but the only thing that i can think because we can't obviously bring a literal other sphinx right right so contextually the only thing that could have been the sphinx's parents that the sphinx itself doesn't know the sphinx is 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 a is a coded it's a entity entity right so it, it can't right. know its parents because it can only know what it's been programmed to know it's not sentient but its parents so i.e capcom that made no, it i understand that would, yeah would know it's and the only way to represent capcom is one of the capcom created pawns so it's like a self-aware. No, I, under I understand the logic of that, but the, but there's no, but I can't feel like the answer to a Sphinx riddle in one of the most immersive RPGs I've ever seen is to break immersion. What if there's just a pawn named Sphinx? Oh yeah, that might be the click key. There's literally a pawn there named Sphinx Parrot. <laughs> Somebody did that, right? Like, yes, this is somebody's pawn. Somebody's just fucking called their pawn Sphinx parent to troll people. But how did they know? Sphinx mother? Okay, yeah, people have just done the Sphinx. Have oh, just... they just want. They just wanted. A they just wanted attention. But how would they? Can you rename your pawn? Have they done it in preemptive? Maybe with maybe with the book thing. There's no way. Like, I'll be honest, I did not expect to get sidetracked like this from from my Capcom made the Sphinx. So Capcom pawn. I feel like this is from a real spanner into the works. I'm really confused now. The thing that's tweaking at me is that moniker has to exist for a reason, because why else would they put a single world Sphinx mother or Sphinx parent as a moniker that is possible? Yeah, but but I'm also thinking like, but I'm also thinking maybe we misunderstand that system and maybe it's not a Capcom created thing because it shouldn't be one word. Yeah, that is also a very good point. Look, if it's wrong, it's wrong. It, it's It's... It's fine. It's just the thing, it's the only thing that makes sense. And if it, Jesus Christ. I mean, we've been thinking about this for. Jesus Christ. For a while now. What, you don't like, uh. Look at the shape of that person. You don't like, you don't like this. How Jesus about this Christ. offering? Uh, this look like your mother, Sphinx? It does have a little bit of Pixar, Mom. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's how you know. By which I mean, it looks like my Pal World character. <laughs> this is so stupid. I can't help but feel like it's gonna turn its head 90 degrees to the right and then smile and then say, very good. Cool. See, it's the fact that it's air quotes parent makes me think that it is a technicality like this. Yeah, well, no, I think it's definitely a technicality. I just don't know if it's if it's fourth wall breaking technicality. Sure, have this giant thighed woman, Sphinx. And don't forget the ass. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
I hate this. I hate it. Oh no, she's not turning her head the right direction. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, oh, I hate it now. so much. What do you mean? It's just like an owl. You love owls. Oh! All is in the name. So it is a technicality. That is technically a moniker you could have chosen when you made your pawn. And anyone who chose a variation of Sphinx parents, Sphinx. I guess so, yeah. Anyone who just looked through the list, right? They just qualify for this yeah. riddle? I wonder if there's an alternate solution. Well, I mean, in theory, you can change your moniker if you use the like the book, right? And then if so, then you can do that. As much as I'm happy we got the riddle correct, I am a little bit disappointed. I thought I was being was I thought I was being so clever with Capcom as the Sphinx's parents, so a Capcom pawn's gonna do it and You're still correct in the sense that Capcom what created that moniker and thus Yeah, that's true. Yeah, come on, what's conviction? Yeah, give us more stuff. We've only got two left, I guess, somehow. Wonder of mortal debt. And challenge, True. nimbly met. Why do you say that? Like those things are mutually exclusive statements. They're not. Grant me what you most prize. Oh, wow, we don't even, okay. Does she want our heaviest item? Or our most valuable item. It says most prize, right? I think the lighter pack was just... Yeah, but she also she also described what pr prize was, right? No, I think that was just a setup that we're giving her something. Like, oh, this will be good for you. Less, less stuff in your pack. Yeah, How I do guess. we... What's the most single valuable item? Elite camping kit's pretty hefty. Oh, the port kiss crystal's probably pretty valuable, isn't it? And it is heavy. What about the bottle? The bottle! <laughs> Just the bottle again! The bottle that we got that she said was the most valuable thing in the game. <laughs> she has told us this is valuable. <laughs> she has actively told us that item is valuable. What we most prize. But how would it know if it was correct? Bring the main pawn again. <laughs> yeah, on this list, just Cotton's face in one of these boxes. Hello? It's what we most prize. Wakestone? Wakestone because life? Yeah, but if it's what we most prize. Wakestone because our heart. How can there be a definitive answer? Because every player would most prize a different item, presumably. Because then it is the player character, in which case we are programmed to desire to get our heart back, which is the whole Dragon Quest thing, right? So maybe it is a wake stone for that reason. But a wake stone isn't really our heart. It's not really anything to do with that. Well, no, but it's like a representation. Fairy stones. I value fast travel. I really like fast travel. I mean, to be fair, maybe there are multiple answers. That's true. I mean, to me, the answer should be something that is both valuable and heavy, and then it kind of hits both things that she mentioned. Maybe. So it's like guess... the dragon's the dragon's gaze thing. So either the ceiling file. I don't, a, don't think it's a beast state. Dragon's a wake stone, a camping kit. No, that's even smaller than the ceiling. I, honestly, I feel like the, the file would be really funny if it was that again. Yeah, but that seems like, what if you don't do that riddle first? Because we could have done any order. So Well, that, but then it's still gonna, it's just going to be something else in your inventory, right? Because if you don't do this, if, if you do this riddle before getting the file, then you can't lock yourself out, presumably, because we could have chosen any yeah, of but the I, five riddles. I don't think it's oh. just one, though. This generally feels more suspenseful than any of the actual, like, deadly encounters we've had in this entire game. It's the fact that it's playing, like, deal or no deal game show music in the background while she stares at you. It's such a cool encounter, though, right? Like, this is so unique. Oh, yeah, it's very cool. I can't wait for when we answer all of her questions correct, and then she gets mad and we just fight her like a normal enemy. Yeah, this has to, it feels to me like this has to be a multi-option answer. I mean, it may never be returned. What if we, what if we murder you? Say no, say no, because that proves its value. <laughs> oh, God. How have they done this? How have they created such an intense angle of Sphinx? Oh, her face like flushes with like feathery scales. When she turns the head, oh, oh, it's a suspense. I, I sort of get the feeling that you could have put any item there and then said yes, and she would have accepted it. Like, I can't help but feel that. Generosity is as reward. So was, was it correct? Well, she said very good, and she opened the chest, so. I guess, let's see what we've traded a port crystal for. A port crystal. I bet you she just puts whatever you give her in the chest, too. Oh, yeah, because then it's what you most prize, and it is literally your- I bet, I bet you the whole riddle is you pick whatever fucking item you want, you say yes, and then she gives it back to you. That's so fucking funny. Oh, we have two. Does she give you the original back? I guess so. Oh, maybe it's literally just a free item duplication. That would be silly. Or it just it is just a port crystal in the chest, and that just happened. It is a free item duplication. We would have made a much better choice than a fucking port crystal. We don't need any more. Yeah, just just give, give her like a, a cool weapon or something. Yeah, exactly. I'm still not quite sure if we did it correct, but that's fine. Riddle of rumination. Well, I mean, we we got the chest. 
Where was it you found your fucking excuse me? First seeker's token. Fucking, I don't know. Seven days? I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I was about to say I have no fucking clue, but it's almost as if we have a oh, recording yeah, a really of our inside oh, it's a, oh, oh, it's a shame we've happened to, I don't know, have video video documentation of our entire experience in We this happen to game. be two people well known for having very bad memories, and yet there's a solution to this problem. We'll be right back. I'm sorry, but... What if you, I don't know, don't record your entire journey and make a note of your first Seeker's token? Then you have to get lucky. Or have impeccable memory. Jesus. I can't believe actually having video documentation of everything we've done. That's that's it. That's the one. Finder's token. Finder's token. Looking Seeker and Finder's tokens. Imagine you just hand Where that in and it? it counts as every Seeker's token. Token of indiscernible purpose. Finding the place where you first obtained a Seeker's token. Wow, I can't believe how clutch that came in. My God. So See, look at us. Absolutely dominating the Sphinx. Look at us. Mainly mean, by pure luck. Um, look. Maybe some some people could say that was some sort of cheating. Other people would say that's just, you know, our, our situation coming up positive. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we got it. Don't you worry, Sphinx. We have an encyclopedic memory. Why does that feel like it was somehow the easiest? I mean, it was, it was the easiest one because we recorded it. But it was yeah, it's probably, the, yeah, it's probably the hardest one for normal people. Unless the Seeker's token goes into every previous space you found, so you don't know if it was your first one? I mean, I don't think so. Surely that would be t way too much. Okay, yeah. I mean, I was certain that was our first one, regardless of anything. Does that mean we get, like, the big boy prize behind her? Maybe we have to talk to her again. Oh, okay. Okay. She's gonna be like, actually, I don't- I, I didn't tell you if they were correct or not before. Now I will grade you. Oh. Our next game, she'll have to take a different tack. She's gonna fucking try and kill you now, isn't she? Oh, this is atmospheric. Oh, seek me at my new abode. She's gonna fly? Can you grab her? I guess she's just leaving? That's a great can question. Can you grab her like a griffin? Should I just run at her after this? Yes. Oh my god, that's such a good idea. If she, if she doesn't leave in a cutscene, then absolutely try then. <laughs> can I? Why is she making that noise? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, just, just careful. Oh my god. Just hold on there. Is this working? <laughs> Why is she just talking? I don't like that at all. Oh no, no, she's just, she's just like, she's humming along. She's singing. Not half bad. Oh, maybe she's reacting to the fact that you did that. Oh, yeah, she's acknowledging it. Well, I mean, I guess it is a riddle in its own way, isn't it? Oh, that was a good... Cotton. How are you keeping up? I will not let the master get away. We're going to run out of stamina as well. Well, I mean, concern. if you're standing on her back, theoretically, you could just stand, right? Like most monsters, you can balance. I'm going to I'm gonna hold on. I'm going to hold on again. Yeah, it seems like a I'm good gonna, idea. I'm going to hold on again. This is ridiculous. Feels like she's going pretty far. I can't believe this is working. Where are we going? I don't know. Is this the ancient battlegrounds? What is that? No, it's not the ancient battleground. We've flown oh, it's really- it's the border checkpoint. It's the border checkpoint. Why is she going through the border? She knows that she can fly, right? She, well, you know, she's got to present her proper papers, obviously. This is giving real Vulcana the gate energy. What just gave us DCP? Did you just murder something while desperately- She killed- Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm- I'm- I'm finding- I'm finding things on the road as I teleport along underside you. <laughs> That's so funny. Cotton, you're actually terrifying me. Good, now I'm Cotton Mother. <laughs> How are you doing this? How in any capacity- I'm, I'm throwing- I'm throwing up? the pawns and then jumping. I have so much strength. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, no, we shouldn't have done this because we've left our final reward chest behind. There's a port crystal there. Oh, there is a port crystal there, but it seems like a waste of a port of a, of a fairy stone. Two chests? There was the big one, too. Oh, yeah, there is the big one. Oh, is she going back vermin? No, I think this is just a cave in Batal. But it's got grassy green. Yeah, but we're still in Batal. Are we? As you can see by the map saying Batal there. Oh, no, no, look. We are going back into the green border. We are, but now we're just we're going back towards where she was before now. Oh, what if she just? Did she just do a. She just does a really long loop, doesn't she? Yeah, what if she just does a huge loop and we could have just stood there? That would be so sphinxy. I gen. Yeah, I think we are actually going back. I think it was just a trick. I mean, if it was, we still solved oh, it. No, no, we're not. Front it, this is a new shrine. Yes! I found you a second time. I just can't get enough of them sphinx tits. Are you, are you gonna throw us off? Are you aware that we're on your neck right now? She said if you want more. Yeah, but I figured it would be like, now you're now we're gonna actually fight, not, oh, here's another five riddles. Oh, you have solved the- It was its own riddle. 
Riddle of Reunion? And then that chest spawned in? Or is it another? Oh, that first chest is openable because that was the Riddle of Reunion. Oh, yeah. Okay. So where are we on the map as well? 100,000 gold. 100,000 gold. I mean, yeah, that'll do. So where's this shrine? Where's the Frontier Shrine? Yeah. I mean, it's close to the other one. It's just like southwest of it. So it's like this wiggly path up through here, through the cave. And then where's it come at this? Yeah. It's like the halfway between Batal and, and Vermin on the other side. So we were at the mountain shrine, and now we're at the frontier shrine. She took a really long way to get here, though. She could have gone way more direct. Yeah, why didn't she just... Yeah, why did she go over, like... Just, well, she didn't even just do that. She went through the misty forest, around to the side, then the long way around to the checkpoint town. I mean, I guess we put one of our new port crystals Yeah, here. I was about to say, yeah, I guess this makes this makes a lot of sense. Pawns? Where'd you go, pawns? Hello, pawns? Anyone? Pawns? Oh, are they dead? They might be dead. I guess we just keep going then? I guess. Oh, she's actually sat down all properly sphinxy she's now. She's tired. Tess of metal or more to your I strength. Guess. Oh, is now she's gonna fight us. Who the fuck is he? I don't know! Hello? Throw him off the cliff! <laughs> who is this man? I don't know who he is. Throw him off the cliff. I don't care. Look at his godless face! He's just like some guard from Vern from Vernworth. I'm Ted, uh, I do weekends for the Sphinx. I'll be fighting you. <laughs> you know, Zug Zug. <laughs> Zug Zug, all that. Go earn my coin from a starving family. They're gonna die if I don't sacrifice myself. <laughs> Bear this ring into battle. It's gonna like significantly ruin you, isn't it? Ring of. Did, was he just running in immediately? Yeah. <laughs> also, ring of. D oh, if it's forced it on. Weakens all of the wearer's attacks to the fullest extent possible. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Throw him off the cliff. She said, kill him and wear the ring. That's the answer to that, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, a, that's such an easy one. If there's one thing that you can rely on me to work out in a quarter of a second, it's throwing someone off of a cliff. <laughs> As if the solution to a given problem is throwing someone off a cliff. What's Ring of Ambition do? The opposite? Oh, slightly boosts Ooh, experience, experience gain from anything. Although that's levels. I'd rather it boosts DCP. Some say it's pain, others darkness. I can't get over how much okay. I adore the voice performance on this creature. Yeah, it's, it's a really good one. You want us to deliver this pot to somebody in Batal. Excuse me? But she also said, can you just, can you survive it failing? Yeah, because I assume if you drop it at any point, it will crack and game over. Yeah, but what she's, by what she's saying, it will fail no matter what eventually. So surely the answer to that is to just break it immediately. No, she wants to test that if, like, we spend the next three hours slowly carrying this to the guy and then, like, accidentally drop it just before succeeding, if that will break our mind in, in pain and defeat. Okay, first, where's the guy, I think, is where, the first question. Yeah, where's the guy? Yeah, that is that is step one. Because if he's right beside where we have a port crystal, can we fairy stone if we're holding the pot? No, you're stupid! No, you're a genius, but you're stupid! Okay, thank you. You've got the right idea, but the wrong way round. Because yeah. the conditions are pot to man. That's true. It is pot to man. Surely man to pot, which is a great boy band name, by the way. Man to pot. Oh! <laughs> Is equally viable. And then, and then asking him, and then asking him to bring it home himself. Yeah, from this frontier. You've been hired to deliver this jar to this man. What if I deliver the man to the jar? Is that cheeky, or would that work? I mean, it's cheeky, but I think that's. I mean, I feel like you might as well try it. However, we are having some fairy stone problems. That's actually a good point. We need a supply of the old fairy stones. I might have to do a fairy stone teleport to get more fairy stones. That's such a good idea. I really hope this works. Yeah, I think that, that that'll be really good of a Because that has to be, because there is no earthly yeah. way that sure. the game expects you to carry a pot which will occupy both your hands from... Yeah, what, no. From, from it what wants, is it? It wants you to use your brain. It wants you to carry it it's manually like of the down map. this entire cliff, through Thunderclap Cave, by the way, across here, past every enemy, that if they yeah. any attack connects to you, you'll drop the pot all the way to fucking back. What if what no. if you can go just go to the checkpoint town and call the ox cart and just ride it manually because you can't sleep with it? Yeah, that's a good point, but then if you get attacked, you're still likely for it to just go horribly wrong. What if it's actually just a lie and in the, in the, it's actually just invulnerable? I assume it's up here. It looks like it. This guy? Oh, it's the Sphinx mural. Oh yeah, he's, he cares about the Sphinx. Oh, should the day you seek to challenge the Sphinx yourself... Okay. So like, in battle, is that what it means? Yeah, I guess after you answer the riddles, there's a fight, which is what I assumed would happen in a game about killing things. So it has wisdom, apparently. You can use a spear. <laughs> you could use a... Does it just mean Mystic Spearhand has an advantage? 
I don't know. He's got a shield as well. I think it's just supposed to be an ancient warrior. Uh, what, what's hanging from its neck? Does it have like a third arm? That's weird. I don't like. It's like a little baby arm. Oh, oh no! It's a chicken foot. It's like a drumstick, and then the little grabber at the end. Yeah, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, like, I'm so. Why would it, why this make a little chicken? Foot? I don't know why that would make it make more sense, but. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what this is doing for us. Well, time to take you on a journey. Can we just possibly teleport NPCs that aren't in the party? I've always wanted to know. Well, yes. The stone's working. Is he going to come with us? Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's incredible. Put him on, just put him on the platform. Don't even give him the pot. Does that work? The marker is still in Batal. Oh no. Oh, he actually comments on it. Why is he reacting to the vase and not the sphinx? <laughs> yeah, that's also really... That... That face with a picture of the Sphinx on it? It looks like it has a picture of the Sphinx. It cannot be. This is a much better depiction than the mural. I have to wonder. She looks so upset. <laughs> She's just like, you fucking bitch. I gave you that thing to carry. Well, I mean, there's other reasons you could argue. Can we not just put him on the Sphinx platform? Would he not be, like, really excited? Well, our star vigil is at an end. Our family is free. Does that count? I think so. Surely, oh, right? Oh, no, she does not look happy. No, she said very good. Yeah, that's what she says when you've answered, and then this is the suspense of if you've got it Yeah, correct. but surely very good is only if it's a good answer. Well, okay. <laughs> I feel like this I is... I can just imagine people with, like, just just small brain carrying it the whole way and then seeing this and then just, like, throwing a controller yeah. at a wall. I feel like this is the first time we've properly sphinxed the sphinx. I don't think so. I think we've done some good ones so far. I don't think having a recording or a first Seekers token is, is really... I do. This I also think much. throwing that guy off the cliff in about half a second was pretty good. Unmaking arrow? That was the thing the Dragon Forest was selling. It was, wasn't it? The thing that just kills something. The ultimate arrow said to kill instantly. Do you think the Sphinx gives it us for a reason? I mean, surely you could use it against her? Yeah, maybe it's the only way to actually defeat her. Maybe she's, like, immortal of the way. Maybe. What else have you got for us, Sphinx? -y? How many riddles have you solved so far? Okay, 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 focus up. The first one was five, getting here was one, and we've done two while we were here. This is so dumb. This would have been so much easier if we were wrong. Do they all count as being on the platform? Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, the only reason this is hard now is because there's so many of them. Okay, they're all on the platform. You should just knock one off! Oh, won't she just knock one off? Tell her no, tell her no! Motherfucker! That is cheating! That was, that was so, so cheeky! cheeky. That was so cheeky! <laughs> she knocked three off! She's just like, she knocked three off! She's just like, I bet they won't notice! This is the hardest, this is the hardest riddle so far. <laughs> and it's not because of working out the answer. Can we please submit our answer safely? Oh, don't knock them off with your head. She's gonna knock it off when she leads in. Yeah, we good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we good? Oh, I don't know, you're creepy. God damn! For your next riddle, clear the fucking platform. Oh, oh, I know what the mural was. You know the arm? It was a key. She's got a key hanging from her neck. Oh, yeah, she has a key hanging from her neck. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> That's so true. There are lots of living people. If you believe so, this next search should prove exceedingly simple. I fucking know him. Yeah, I do as well. I know exactly where he is. Yeah, there was a moment where we talked to him and ridiculed the man. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. Oh my god. That's so funny. What's he called? Fuck if I know. That's every imp. That's 401 NPCs, man. Was that him? Remember, right eye scar, the red hair is obvious, the face is obvious. All right, to the checkpoint town. Ooh. Ooh, let's go have a look at this weird man. Okay, in the morning. Or not. Yeah, not right now. I've also gone and got a bow. You've, you've, you're apparently being mean. That's the wrong place. Yeah, just, just, just talk to the bell. Talk to the bell. <laughs> Mayhaps I'll treat myself to a tipple before bed. I don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. <laughs> a little bit of drink. A tipple. You can't just say that as if that makes it make sense. That's what it means. A little tipple is a little alcoholic drink. Since when? <laughs> According to whom? I may have made a huge mistake putting on this bow because I realized I didn't change any of my warfare skills to be either Mystic Spearhand nor Archer, so we've only got Core. What? Oh, shit. You're playing warfare. Can't, can't you just, like, don't, don't you have any of the weapons that you have the skills for? Why have you done this? I made a huge mistake is what I've done. Fortunately, I don't think there's a big enemy here, so we should be okay. Well, I'm worried about the cart. Don't put a hagol on the on the ox. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the cart and the ox mostly. No, no, don't stand in an electric expl. Oh, where are we? It occurs to me we weren't that far from the checkpoint town at the Sphinx Monument. Oh, 
Oh, running now. You guys can look after yourselves. Including the ox. You enjoying your nice nighttime walk through the desert? Batal ox carts are just awful. Like, there's just eight trillion enemies in... They always get ambushed, and they always get destroyed. How much do you think Baron hates that at night, people just walk by his house with lanterns every five seconds, apparently? Oh, yeah, we're here. I thought you said Baron for a second. Unless your favor is to be shown the shrink, the Sphinx, then not right now. <laughs> not right now, Baron. Okay. Also, the Shrinks. The Shrinks. The riddles of the Shrinks. <laughs> what is not large? Is that the guy? I just kind of had a double take. The Virgil, I... that's him. That is 100% him. That's the fake Dante. That is him because he's not also their Dante and Virgil. Does that mean something? Devil May Cry. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> but also, that is 100% the one, the one. It is him. It is that I one. told you they were dead. I told you it was different. I mean, you were right, but I wasn't expecting it to be. Of course, it's both sides of the checkpoint town. That makes so much sense. Oh yeah, the mirror. Shut the fuck up, Zach. <laughs> The fuck up, Seth. We have just solved a fucking riddle, and you are ruining There's our moments. Just a man, it's just him with a lantern in the middle of as we go to the That's checkpoint so to grab his freaking twit. This is him, right? That, it is. I have zero doubts now. That's incredible. I feel like like exactly like that's too perfect. I feel like we are just the best sphinxes. Bringing people to the sphinx. By, oh yeah, that. By no means of any actual deliberate intelligent thought. No, I mean, that was intelligent thought. We were going to investigate the person who looked like them. She's going to show us the other one. Yeah, she's showing us both of them. No, no, look. That's comparing the image and the real one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. look, we did it. He's so weird. Everyone looks like this man. To have found him is miraculous. You're all ugly little monkeys. Can I go home now? Why did you bring me here? I can but trust my faith will guide me. Where's he gonna go? I must- I need to go pray for Jesus Christ has forsaken me. <laughs> and thus we never saw him again as he wanders out into the night. And neither did anyone else. Whimsical daydream. Is that a trickster weapon? Looks like a seat. Yeah, it looks like a trickster weapon. Oh, yeah. Does that give you gold when you hit people with it? Bearer's coin per swells. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you can't just leave. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I, just gra grab her. Just go. Okay. What are we doing? Should I not have attacked her? I well, you just you just started attacking her. I would have just grabbed her. Oh well, yeah, because I want to fight her. Just fucking grab her like she did the last time. She might have been going somewhere new. <laughs> that's actually a really good point. Like, what was your first instinct? I'm going to attack nonstop until the cutscene plays. <laughs> I'd say this is clearly about to become a fight. In which case, do we just trivialize okay. the full thing and use the arrow? Is she upset? I think she's upset. I think she's pretty upset about the situation. Oh my god! She did just say dance for me. Ah! I love the way she just human screams. Well, yeah, because I guess she is part human. God, she's got serious magic. Ow! Sorry, I can't take this seriously. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> That's so silly! What is happening? Like, that that voice is so good for the riddles, and so fucking weird. No! <laughs> can anyone explain to me why she just has, like, the lower half of a horse? I really want to know if I can cut off her tail. Well, you should try attacking the tail, then. Ow! You're gonna die. Oh, my God. I just love her! It feels like... How is she just dead? Is that it? Genuinely? I mean, I know we're like level 50, but like, goddamn. That will do most impressive, I must say. Like her ghost? I hope okay. so that you and I shall meet again. Oh, the key is dropping. So the key of Saggy City. It can't be Saggy S City. S no, it's Sagacity, as in Sage, the Sageness, Sagacity. Key of Sagacity. It's probably for the big chest, if I had to guess. No. no, I guess not. Okay. Key of Saggy City. I love Key of Saggy City. Well, I guess we'll never find this Saggy City now. <laughs> Walks away from big glowing chest. Why did she talk to us like she was like happy of how we did the fight? Like she I was like, she okay, was. well done. Here's your experience. Goodbye. Yeah, she just seemed happy about the whole did thing. Did we just crush her like in time? Maybe it's like time limited? I, or... I don't feel like it was either. I, I feel like it was just like she's supposed to be harder than she was. She did almost kill you very quickly a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, damage wise, but her health. I mean, I just wanted to chop off her tail. Yeah, but think about you, the, the the what you're running right now. Key of Saggy City, Saga City. So I assume you have to beat her in battle. Eternal Wake Stone. Is that just like an infinite Wake Stone? I don't know. A stone endorsed with Trinus magic. When invoked, it restores any fallen in the vicinity. Oh, it's an AOE Wake Stone. Why would you even want that, though? I guess if you just can't be asked and want to bring back like a group of NPCs at a time. Yeah, but how many 
I, like, I, want, I want to check if it's infinite use, because that would make more sense, but if it's not infinite use, then I've just wasted it. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't say... It says eternal, but it doesn't say infinite use. That's so interesting. I think maybe we just fought her a little bit powerful, but that is by far the most experience everything, anything has given us. Yeah, I think, I think so. I think that is entirely what happened. I mean, it is described as a goddess within this world, so that's not supposed to be an easy fight. It was just the, well done, I'm leaving now, here's your reward, woo! Yeah, I think she just went, I think that was like her soul talking to us as she descended into, into the underworld. It just almost feels like we completed some sort of final puzzle while fighting her that I have no concept of. I think the puzzle was killing her. The puzzle was just killing her? I mean, maybe, yeah. I mean, it did seem like they were trying to imply that there was a lot more to the fight than meets the eye, because they were like, look at the mural for advice on how to beat the fight, and then you just fucking stabbed her in the butt 20 times. <sighs> All right, if we go back to the mountain shrine and... I guess collect the one chest we left behind? I mean, isn't this your last fairy stone? <laughs> oh, that's a really good point. Yeah, it better be worth it. I mean, we gave up this chest to cling to the Sphinx, so... It's a ridiculous amount of fairy stones for everything. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. I mean, I guess that is literally speaking worth it. I mean, yeah, I'll take it. I will take it. Well, what I'm thinking is, I mean, we have two right. port crystals, right? And this essentially acts as a ancient battleground if we ever want to kill everything there again. Yeah, I guess why I, would, why I guess would, sort why, of. why would we? It's yeah. just, it, they're just heavy. Where would we put more park crystals? Uh, maybe the checkpoint down just so we don't have to ox cart there every time. Yeah. Maybe Melv, because we're supposed to be there every few days. Every few days, of course, Melv, yes. I feel like this one adventure has led us to so many port crystals, though. Like, that's a... What if, what if something happens, though? What if the Sphinx comes back? I mean, or... maybe it does. Things tend to respawn in this game. I don't know if something of this magnitude does. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it just in case. We we can always come back. Sure. Yeah, I mean we can at least check it out in a few days and see. Oh you can see the griffin in its nest. Oh yeah, because I guess that is where the nest was. So if it hadn't been night when we were there, we could have looked up and seen this shrine. And then we would have been like, oh, maybe we should go into the misty area to try and get to the shrine. Instead, we did that without the shrine, didn't find the shrine, turned around and we found the exit that goes to the shrine and went the whole other way around. Don't worry, guys, you just hang out by the park crystal. What is this strange blue light? <laughs> I do kind of miss the original Dragon's Dogma 1, like, A park crystal? We've just teleported? Oh my god, <laughs> like, every time. Park crystal? This time they're just like, Look, a ladder! <laughs> Alright, guys. And now it's raining. That is the Sphinx. I am genuinely really happy and impressed that we managed to nail all the riddles. Yeah, how did we get all of them correct? I mean, a few of them... Some of our answers felt so dumb, and yet they a were A few of them correct. did feel like literal pure dumb luck, but the point is, we got Yeah, it doesn't matter. It, 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 we solved the riddles. It doesn't matter whether we knew they were the correct answers or not. We got the correct answers exactly. to the riddles. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking Dante uh, and Virgil. Why would they do that? That's so funny. <laughs> In any case, like you enjoyed this, subscribe, hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good Bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.